Welcome back to another beautiful day in World Box. Oh boy, what's this? Gorg brought out the island map again. What is he planning for today? To which I say, didn't you read the title? Don't you already know? Today we're combining two of my favorite ideas. The islands sinking when something happens, combined with the videos where something bad happens when a king dies. Today, whenever a king dies, we will sink whichever island he died on. So he dies, then the island dies. And then everyone on it dies, unless they can swim, in which case they swim to the other island, and then you just hope that there isn't a king there who then dies, and then everyone, you know, has to swim again, Maybe their arms get tired and then they, they die in, in the water. That would be really sad. Let's go ahead and place our contestants, shall we? Let's start them all with a roughly, I was gonna say 25, but then I went a little overboard. Uh, let's say a 35, yeah, that's what I, 37. 37, yeah, everyone gets 37, that was my plan. All right, let's name these suckers. With neck, we attack. This is easy, holy neck. Um, Ivan Motherland brings honesty. I want to be honest. I don't know, man. How about just Ivan? You know, Motherland, Ivan, Ivan the Terrible. It's history, all right? Passion and Updog. Um, what's Updog? Uh, we use our bow in war. This is a good one, right? This, this is pretty good. We use our bow in war. It actually makes sense, which is why I can't think of anything to name these people. I like when they're just goofy. Like, with neck we attack, banger. Easy peasy. We know right away what to name them. We use our bow in war? What? We can't just name them war bows? That's freaking lame. That's what we're gonna do. War bows. In this island's map, there are 10 rows of 10 islands, equaling a total of 100 islands for those that don't like math. We're gonna do something a little bit controversial here, and we're gonna give them all coffee, which speeds up their intelligence and just speed and fertility and all that for just like a minute. I wanna give them all a little boost at the beginning to give them all a chance to expand before their first king dies, because if the king dies on their starting island, they'll scatter and continue on, but that all their hard work will be kinda undone. So I want to give them a chance to have two islands at least before the first king dies. And if it doesn't happen that way, if the king slips on a banana peel and bonks his head on a tree on the first island, rules are rules, baby. You guys getting sunk. So think about that, all right? Keep the bananas off the ground. It looks like someone died at holy neck over here. I guess they don't know necromancy over here. <laughs> Get it? Like necromancy? Like bringing the dead back to life? You know, like someone died? So they bring it back with necromancy? You get it. You think it's funny. Ivans? I mean, everyone's got a dock, but they don't have the upgraded dock. They just got this pile of wood right here. And not even a fishing boat yet. They just have a dock for, I guess, looking at? It'd be cool if the people could, like, throw fishing poles in the water, you know? I would like that. Because in this game, lore-wise, there are infinite fish in the water. Because the fishing boats always have fish to catch. Like, why can't my bald brother in Gorg here, who loves fish and is starting to get a little hungry, why can't he just throw a fishing line in the water and catch himself a nice cod or, um... No, the fish caught, not Call of Duty. My guy's not gonna feed himself on Warzone 2. That's the opposite. He wants to catch a fish because he's hungry. All right, stay with me. Let's coffee them again, shall we? I just drank a bunch of coffee before filming this, so this is like... This is relatable moment. This is me filming this video right now. Okay, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Would you look at that? Age of Dark. So spooky. No one has expanded from their islands yet, but look at that. We got ourselves the upgraded dock. They are on their way. Any second now, we're gonna see a boat. I just feel like there's gotta be, you know, like, do you need to invent a ship to get from here to here? Couldn't you just swim or, I don't know, jump or like make a little bridge? Also, speaking of things being added to this game, this tweet by the creator of this game makes me excited. Any update soon? Yeah. The king of holy neck is dead. No, buddy, what happened? You were right about to invent boats. All right, well, rules are rules, my friend. In the arms of the angel. That actually feels really bad because they just got their new dock. 
but they still have it invented. You know, they just gotta rebuild it. They still know how. Look, there it is. Boom. There, look, it's already there. Easy peasy. And look, now they're gonna have two docks. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh oh. The king of war bows just died. Okay, I guess they're all hitting their old age point here. Okay, yeah, they're all hitting old age at the same time. This guy just died as well. All right, well, this will get them all to spread out evenly, I guess. All right. What's up, dog? Your king gonna die? Where is he? Listen, fella, I don't know if you know this, but the other four kings just died in rapid succession, so I think it's your turn. There you go. <laughs> okay, he did it. He was only like 85 and nothing bad happened, but there you go. Okay, so now in kind of a good thing, they've now all spread out and holy neck is up to 120 because they got four islands now. And look at that. They got transport ships and everything. This is sweet. Updog over here kind of shot themselves in the foot a little bit by taking so long for their king to die because dying ended up being a good thing. Okay, dying's not a good thing. In this one small instance, dying was good for them. For the kingdom. Okay, Warbows, 85. Ivans, 85. Holy Neck, 168, 170, and then Updog, 55. All right, this is good. This is very good. Good. Holy Neck has five islands and 200 population. Oh, boo. Age of Despair. Oh, King of Ivans is dead. Boom. Goodbye. I'm so sorry you guys spent all that time building that. Gone in a blink of an eye. Holy Neck is spreading out like crazy. 250. And their king just died. And they lose an island. Boom. Swim, my friends. Swim. Yes, you too. All right. Okay, so Ivans is in last place now. They were in second a minute ago, and Warbows is honestly catching up pretty quick. Seven islands. What's up, dog? Has not expanded since their king died. They took these four and they're sticking to them, I guess. It's a little too scary to go out there during the age of despair. They're just gonna stay home. And you guessed it, despair. We gotta go out there and despair. Oh, no, no, we have despairing at home. Despairing at home. 360, 370, 150. Them taking two new islands is gonna be great for them because now they're gonna have a lot more room to uh, grow their population because they need to catch up, dude. Ivan's same deal. I feel like they need to be a little more aggressive here. Um, Warbos gets it. They're hustling out here, man. And I love to see it. Keep up the good work and maybe uh, you'll have a chance against... Holy neck, they're at 474. No king deaths in a while. I do have the disasters off. So the ages aren't going to matter that much. Um, but uh, they still matter a little bit. Oh, the king of Ivans is dead. Okay, this might actually be a good thing as we've seen. Boom. Now spread out. Take two new islands. Is this the only way you know how to take islands? Is if your king dies and you're forced to swim to a new island? Some people will only get out of the house if their house sinks into the ocean. You know? Thank goodness. The snow is melting. It is now age of sun. Okay. Holy neck is up to 700. We got Ivan's at 180. They're getting crushed. Oh, king of updog just died right here. Boom. That was like their best island. No, I'm so sorry. Okay. They're doing okay though. 400. Warbo's at 430, and then Holy Neck at twice that with 800. Ivan's at a quarter of that at just barely 200. I want to speak to the manager. Oh, King of Warbo's is dead right over here. Kind of a random island. Uh, I guess not. Island right in the middle there gets sunk. Everyone spreads. One person went to this island, or two people did. There you go. New island for you. Nice. I'm surprised there has been no war yet, you know? Aw, oh, King of the Ivans is dead again over here. How did your new king just die? What are you guys, eating nails and juggling dynamite? Uh-oh, King of Warbows is dead right over here. Kind of gives you a sinking feeling, doesn't it? Sorry, buddy, I had to do it. There you go, you made it. Mom, Dad, where are you? They must have ended up on a different island. That sucks. Finally, Holy Neck loses a king on this back island. Boom, there you go. Enjoy your new homes. I don't think there's that much that can stop Holy Neck at this point. I think that they're doing extremely well. Although, look at this. Their king is way out here here, like on the front lines. Maybe if they lose some of these front islands and these two kingdoms take over some of them, then maybe that'll be good. Uh, Warbo's king just died. We're losing kings like crazy now. Oh, look at that. The new king of Holy Neck just died right here, right after I said that. Okay. Can you guys stay safe for five seconds? Is that possible for you? I don't think that your job is that dangerous, considering there's no war going on. Like, look at this guy. He's just walking back and forth on, like, the beach. He's practically just on vacation, hanging out with his buddies. And yet, somehow people with this exact job, doing these exact activities, manage to keep dying, costing their kingdom the entire island. He just died while I was talking about him. He just died right in front of our eyes. And now look at this. Goodbye, island. <laughs> 
Like, maybe the kingdom just wants to go for a swim so they keep, like, assassinating the king. You know, maybe it's all a conspiracy. I don't know, man. It's the only thing that makes sense. I don't know how these people are dying. A new age is upon us. It is age of dark. Oh, no. I'm s -s 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 scared of the dark. Okay, holy neck is up to what? Like 1,500? We got 550 and 500. Okay, up dog's king just died. I feel like they have not expanded to new islands in a while. Oh, no. They're declaring war. On who? Your neighbors? Who you're tied with? Your other neighbors who triple your population? Or this weak kingdom across the world from you? It's all kind of a bad choice. Wait, wait, wait. While they were making war, uh, Holy Neck declared war on them. They were like, you can't declare war on us. We declare war on you. Okay, well, that's bad news for everyone. Uh, King over here just died. Goodbye. Yeah, if Holy Neck takes this... Oh, whoa. Warbows wants part of the action here. Come on, buddy. You guys should honestly fight Ivans. Just let this happen. Go take over all these islands right here and Ivans right here. We lost another king right here in the Warbows. Warbows declared war on Updog. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a bummer for Updog. They're definitely done for. What's Updog? The destruction of your kingdom. That's what's up. Oh, Ivan's won a piece of the action. Let's go. Get in there, fellas. <laughs> Everyone is against. Oh, no. Oh, but the Ivan's king just died. All right. He declared war right before being killed by, I don't know, a strong gust of wind. Okay, Warbo's population has shot up to almost 800. They've been taking over a lot of this land right here, which is good for them. Updog is down to their final two islands, and uh, I think that they're going to lose um, any second now. Up, oh, and look at that. Their king was just slain. Everyone's dropping off their armies here, but this island just sunk. So congrats. And I believe this king just died right here as well. So there's, there you go. And Updog is gone. Kingdom Updog has been eliminated. And now we've got Holy Neck at 2,000, Warbows at 800, and Ivan's at 505. Holy Neck king just died. Dang, dude. That sucks. Hope that you feel better soon. Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense. He's dead. I don't know why the Ivan's did so bad, honestly. I feel like, look at the islands they do have. They're just so empty. They've got transport boats just like take over these new islands. Islands, you know everyone else is doing it not that that's a reason to do it but like everyone else is finding a way to keep it going you know so why can't you the war bows are about to break a thousand population and you guys have been oh look at that they got to 600 oh no this is terrible news holy neck is about to cook someone they're about to absolutely pulverize someone but who that's the question we're all asking ourselves oh please don't do it uh oh they declare war on war bows and ivans gets to just stand idly by as uh, their neighbor gets destroyed right in front of them by holy neck and all they get to know is oh goodness we're next isn't that right mr king why are you so happy you're about to be destroyed by a kingdom five times your size oh holy next king just died oh, holy next island just sunk okay yeah this is gonna probably be over pretty quick here with the sheer magnitude of these armies they have you guys call yourself the war bows where are all the bows the prophecy is not true. You got a whole army here. None of them have bows. I feel so lied to. I feel honestly kind of betrayed. Every time I see someone with a bow, they're from Holy Neck, not from War Bows. I bet you'd be winning this war if you, uh, you know, had War Bows. Ooh, Ivans is making war right now. Against who? I feel like it's gonna be War Bows, but imagine if they go after Holy Neck right now. Can you imagine? Oh, and the king died while declaring war. Okay, that was an assassination. There's no way that was an accident. Also, the king of holy neck just died right over here goodbye island i feel like just by looking at this i think the kingdom that's lost the most islands is probably holy neck looks like they've lost seven islands and everyone else has lost like five or six Ivan's just declared war on Warbows. What a surprise. Uh, but I think that them losing islands is actually what's helped them. So who would have thought that having kings with bad health is actually good for the expansion of your kingdom? And now the friends that you thought you had are coming after you. Oh, they're making peace, looks like. Come on, do it. Warbows, hang in there. Come on, make peace before you destroy them. You can't destroy them and then be like, oops, my bad. It's like, dude, you just destroyed half my kingdom. Look at this. This is just insulting. We got Ivans over here mopping up Warbows. Who would have thought? Okay, we just lost a Warbows king. Boom. Gotta keep up with that. I feel like they're gonna lose a couple more kings before the end. Okay, wait. 
Ivan's is making peace, but now Holy Neck is making war. Come on, man. <laughs> you just made peace with them. I don't think you really meant it. And now Ivan's are gonna leave them alone, but honestly, I kind of wish that Ivan's would keep fighting because it's the only way they're gonna have a chance to defeat Holy Neck. And now it's just sort of GG. Uh, Warbos just lost a king over here? All right, I trust you. Okay, Warbos is down to two islands left. That is almost GG for them. Holy Neck just lost a king. Ivan's just lost a king. Dang, so many islands sinking into the ocean. It's just too sad to watch. So if you push a kingdom and you kill the king, then the army that killed the king sinks into the ocean and has to spread to nearby islands where maybe you'll find another king and maybe you'll kill them and then you just keep on repeating that process until your socks are too soggy to even walk anymore. Interesting concept. Looks like we just lost another king over here. Oh, on one of the two remaining Warbo Islands. In the arms of the angel. That's a bummer. <laughs> Oh man, you guys, you were in second place for a long time. I don't know specifically what happened. I guess you got ganged up on kind of, but uh, yeah, Holy Neck just made this look easy. At no point was there any doubt they were gonna win this after the first like five minutes because they just expanded so much quicker than everyone else. They just kept taking islands on their own, whereas everyone else is only taking islands when we would force them to. It's like, bro, I shouldn't have to make you expand your kingdom. You know? Oh, Ivan's just lost a king right here. As if anything worse can happen to them. And their three remaining islands. Oh, Warbos are gone. And two islands left on Ivan's. And look at that. They lost a king. And they lost another king. And that's it. Holy Neck wins. They now control this Swiss cheese of a map. How many islands did we sink total? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 25, 27, 33 islands were sunk. That's a lot. That's a lot of kings dying. Almost too many kings dying, if you ask me. But uh, yeah, GG to Holy Neck. Goodness gracious. I thought we were just here to have fun, but they uh, were really committed to just destroying everyone and taking the win. So good job. You had just the right amount of kings slipping on banana peels to get that victory. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. Let me know your ideas down below. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. And uh, check out my other channel if you want. It's not related to World Box at all, but uh, I'm trying to grow it a little bit. So link in the description, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye!